It has arrived. It has arrived. Oh my goodness, it has arrived. This is exciting. But what's inside the box? Another huge van project. This one has been a long time coming. This is one that I'm super excited about. And this is one that's gonna change everything. Now I've been telling you guys, I'm working on some projects. I'm working on some projects. And in fact, my van is the messiest it will ever be on my channel. But that's because I removed everything on this side right here, except for these things. And they gotta go too. So we're gonna pack them up and I'll show you what's in the box. In fact, I had a gray shelf that was like right here. My water was here. And then I had a little shelf with all my kitchen stuff right here and all that's gone. But why? Why is it all gone now? Well, it's like I said, some big changes are a coming to van life. I'm about to make the biggest change since I created the bed. And this one is a fun one. I can't wait to see how this looks. I special ordered something and let me just tell you, it costs a little bit of money. Now, for those of you who are new, my name is Bunny. This is my 2020 NV200 Dimples, and I have traveled all across the country doing all sorts of cool adventures in this van right here. But along the way, a lot has changed. I started out with a no-build van build, meaning that there were no pieces of cut wood, no screws, nothing. Just the things that I already had in my traditional camping setup from traveling for three years and tent camping across the United States. After I finally got all settled in, I decided it was time. I liked the layout. We added a bed. Then I added this shelf back here. And I've had a rotating array of different things in this area right here until today. Let's move the van a little bit closer to make this job a bit easier. I think that that's smart. Woohoo! It's a hot day in Texas today. Look at that. Look at that. Fortunately, there has been a bit of a breeze. Thank goodness, this is gonna make it a little bit better when we're working on this project. Um, I also might have to wait just a little bit to actually complete it, because I have to find tools. Have to find the right tools and don't even know where to start yet. But uh, let's move the van. Okay, there we go. We're all settled into place and now, we can get out of the van and start on this. Now, again, I started off with a no build and I've loved it. In fact, I suggest to anyone who is starting out in van life to do the same thing because it was able to give me an awareness of my space that I wouldn't have had otherwise. And because of that, I was able to make some very good decisions as opposed to a lot of really bad ones because I kind of already knew what I was working with. And therefore, I was able to save a lot of money along the way so that I could invest in my bigger things later on down the line, like today's project. Okay, let's see what's inside. Ooh, it's a box of goodies. And of course it has bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. It just makes me happy. Let's talk about the space inside of my van. I have a very small van. I think that there's no like hiding that. It's a very tiny, tiny van. In fact, this is the whole thing right here. That's it. It's a very, very small van and the living space is only about 30 square feet. So naturally in 30 square feet, there's only so many things that you can do. And one of the things I wanted to do was always keep it extremely simple so that I could change it at any given time, take things out and actually convert this back to a cargo van should I ever decide that I want to trade it. Don't panic guys, I, I'm not planning on trading the van. I love dimples, it is my favorite thing on earth right now. It enables me to do so many activities and uh, that's, that's not the case. Don't don't worry. Now within my space, I wanted to capitalize on a few things that were very important to me. I did not want a bed that moved because I like having a static bed that I can just hop in and sleep whenever I'm ready. I didn't want to have to pull anything out. So that's why I have this particular configuration. So I knew that this was going to definitely be what I was keeping for sure. So I had to work with what space was available to maximize on everything else. 
Now, there are a few things that I learned in doing this. Number one, storage units like this are very important because they take all of the things that are smaller items and give them a home. So I loved this thing. This thing was a very smart investment. Also, under bed storage, super, super important. Maximizing this was enabling me to bring along not only my clothes, but my food, my cooking supplies, and things like that. But I wasn't completely satisfied with how I had to lay things out in order to access them. So I've done several different configurations moving things around. In the last iteration, you saw that I moved my cooking things to the back and then I had the tall shelf right here. And that was a great solution for being able to use my outdoor kitchen setup. But I didn't love the fact that I had no aisle left whatsoever here. So I went back to the drawing board and I looked to address that. I looked at several manufactured cabinets, building my own cabinets, and then I stumbled upon something that kind of just made sense. A shelf that was designed for the contours of my NV200. Again, the dirtiest you'll ever see my van because literally I may have to take out all of this. So I just pushed everything up onto the bed and I'm probably also going to set these items onto the bed also. But by doing it this way, I am able to get a good fit of a shelf that I just ordered that is designed for the NV200 specifically. As you look at the NV200, you'll notice that there are these little holes kind of throughout different sections of the van. This is so you can secure things to the NV200 and actually have it like bolted into the physical framework of the van. So the shelves they sell that are cut and designed directly for the NV tie into these so that they can be secured to the walls and then you can put things in them after that and really create a good living space. Now again, these shelves are designed for the NV200 because the NV200 is a cargo van. And so these are shelves that typically are put into cargo vans. They are very durable, they're extremely strong, they are designed to kind of have a lot of gear on them, a lot of tools, and to carry some weight. So I'm really excited because nothing I have is gonna be too heavy for this in comparison to some of the things I've seen thrown onto these things when they're in cargo mode. So I'm really happy about that. Not to mention, if I ever did decide to get rid of the van at any point in time, these shelves, because they are made for a cargo van, actually add value to the cargo van. So that's that's cool too. Again, not getting rid of the van though, don't worry. Uh, just want something that is super durable, that also I can stick magnets to, and that fits correctly in my van. Another pro, these are designed to go down the road. They aren't made of wood. They're not gonna back off of screws. They're not gonna collapse, splinter, do things like that. So definitely a better overall solution. But with that comes, again, that price tag. The price tag is, is a lot. It was a lot to bite into and it took me months to justify this expense. But coming in at about $400, Okay, everything has been removed and I went ahead and gave everything a good wipe over with some Clorox wipes just to make sure we don't have any dust that gets trapped behind anything. Now I'm gonna take up the floor and give it a really good cleaning through here. Ew, gross. That's just from the road. And I take this thing out pretty frequently, but look at all that gross stuff under it, especially up by the door right there. So yeah, definitely giving this a good cleaning. Okay, here's where it gets really interesting. Here is the shelf, part of it at least. Now I have to figure out how to put it together on here. I'm gonna look to see if there might be some instructions inside, but I haven't found any yet. So, oh goodness, let's see how this works out. I see them, they're way down in the bottom. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Okay guys, it's getting a little bit more breezy, but guess what? Help just arrived just in case we need it. My, my dad just pulled in, so he's going to help me find the proper tools and make sure we get this lined out correctly. Now, a couple things. This did have a couple of dents from being in transportation. This came from UPS. I don't know if this happened with them 
or if it happened at the warehouse. But there's a couple dings and dents in the back piece. The rest of it looks pretty good though. Okay, so these are all of the pieces. These are the side pieces. These are the shelves. And this is the back. And then dad has the other pieces, the smaller pieces in the back back here, trying to make sure everything is in fact in place and here for us to do our assembly. But this, this is, this is gonna be cool because this is definitely stronger than the shelf that I had before. It's not plastic, so it's not going to get broken. So yeah, th this is gonna be cool. Okay, so these are all of the different pieces that came with inside the box right here. So I went ahead and organized them while dad is finding the proper tools for us because I do not have the proper tools in my little toolkit, which I keep in the van right here. So he's going to get the correct ones so we can get this thing installed. And if you know, you already know, the instructions are officially magneted to the wall so we don't lose them because that would be very, very bad. And industrial magnets make sure that we don't lose the instructions because for this one, I think, at least I am going to need it. Um, if dad's helping out, he, he might be a little bit more well-versed in this, but I definitely need the instructions. Now, something pretty neat about the instructions, everything is numbered here, so you can match it up. Now, I did purchase the one that does not have the door, so we have three shelves, a little front flange, we have two sides and a back also. So all of these pieces are present and accounted for. Okay, so my goal is to be able to put three of these across. And so we were just measuring to make sure I can pull in and out at least three of these because that's going to conceal some of my items. <sighs> it's coming along, it's coming along. Okay, so now we brought it over to something a little bit more level and we are going to tighten up all of these so dad's gonna go on one side i'm gonna go on the other side we're gonna bust this out real quick here we go Okay, here is the update. I am really pleased with the size of the shelf. I think this is gonna be really great. Now, one of the things that I did notice in the instructions, and Dad also pointed this out, this shelf originally was sold and marketed as an NV200 only shelf. However, when you get the instructions, it says it's also compatible with a different van. So, one of the things that I was expecting was for this to go all the way up to the top of the ridge here, and it does not quite fit exactly. Now, that's not gonna be a game changer or deal breaker or anything crazy, so I'm fine with this, but it does make for some interesting connecting to the walls. We're having to find out how we can connect to these individual holes and how we need to make some modifications for it to work because again, this was marketed as an NV200 shelf, but clearly it has a few things on here that make it a little bit of a question mark and a challenge just with the securing, but we will get it done and this is going to be a two day project this way. Okay guys, I went to Walmart today and I picked up some things that I'm going to use for organizing on the shelf. Dad went to Lowe's and picked up some things to secure the shelf because I can't organize something if it's if it's flopping around. So thank goodness for dad first and foremost, but also we're about to pull out some of the tools and get some things done. And then um, I'll show you what it looks like after. So I'm gonna get back to that. And I'm sorry guys, I didn't film while I was on my shopping trip in Walmart, so it'll be a surprise, but um, I'll kind of keep you updated. So this is how it will attach. There are these little spaces right here that actually have hooks on them by the floor. And dad pulled up one of the hooks and we're securing this piece of strapping so that it can then 
drill into the shelf to hold tight. Now, in addition, there will be some securing done from the top. I actually fastened this so I could go to Walmart earlier just to make sure that it didn't rock away because I was kind of afraid it would and then I just drove super, super slow. But see where this little hook is up here? There's also a couple little drill-in spots back here that we're actually going to use to secure it either here or here, depending on which one works best. thanks again for coming along with me and helping me along the way with your moral support in the comments of putting together this shelf. I am super happy about the new configuration and the more permanent shelving. I can't wait to get on the road and just kind of see how I like things and where I want to put them because we have come a long way since we started off with the no build van build and we aren't quite finished yet. In fact, the next video upload that I have, we'll be talking a little bit more about all the projects that went into finalizing this shelf right here. Not only that, a few other custom little moments that I have put into the van to make it feel a bit more homey. I have enjoyed coming along for this adventure with you guys, but for now, I am tired and it is time for me to get out of here, get a little rest, and in the morning, start all over again. Till next time, guys. Bye!